This is Cambodia, a country of impenetrable jungles and fabulous ruins lost in time, where kings became gods and monks still seek heavenly peace. And now this mysterious land has begun to open up to reveal the dark beauty that has lured adventurers here for centuries. My journey will take me deep into its exotic heart, where landmines still kill and the soldiers of the Khmer Rouge still patrol the remote jungles, as I try to discover how such a peaceful country could become the killing fields. My name is David Adams, and this is the deep jungle of the Cardamon Mountains in southern Cambodia. And for more than 30 years, this wilderness has been cut off from the outside world. And for much of that time, it's been a Khmer Rouge stronghold. This primeval rainforest is one of Southeast Asia's last wilderness areas, which until recently, you entered at your own risk. These impenetrable forests were once a refuge for guerrilla fighters, but they were also a refuge for an incredible array of unique wildlife. My journey starts on the Thai border. From there, I head across Ton Le Sap, Cambodia's Great Lake, then north into the wilderness before heading down the mighty Mekong to the capital, Phnom Penh. And then finally, onto the jungles of the Cardamans. For 30 years, Cambodia's history has been one of suffering, as it was bombed, blasted and brutalised by war. France, the United States and Vietnam all playing their part. But its greatest misery came from within. In 1975, Cambodia came under the control of a radical communist government, the Khmer Rouge. But today, there's another side to the Khmer Rouge. I'm with a band of former jungle soldiers who are setting up an ambush. But the quarry is no longer human. This time, their weapons are cameras, 